So today is Wednesday and it's also my birthday. I am 28 today and I have a ton of jewelry to make. So today is the last day that my website is open because of our move. So I got a lot of orders trickle in last night and we're gonna make those today. For those of you who don't know, my name is Adriana. I have been running my jewelry business for about two years now, but I've been doing it from England. My husband's in the Air Force, but we are getting out of the Air Force and moving to Idaho. I have to pack all of my things up and move it to the States, so I will be closed for a little while. I am pre-filming videos though, so you might see this three weeks from now. So I went ahead and wrote down everything that I need to make today, and I've got two initial rings, little rainbow earrings, and a ring band, a jade ring, aquamarine hoops, and a Rafe necklace, which is one of the ones that I carve out of wax. So all the other ones are made with wire and sheet, and I definitely won't finish this list today. I think this will probably take me about two or three days, but I might, since these came in last night, I might actually do these on another day. So I'm gonna do these today. I don't wanna overextend myself, and I also always wanna make the orders that came first, so I'm gonna make the initial rings, the Rafe necklace, and the rainbow earrings, and the dainty band. The jade ring and the aquamarine hoops, I will make those later this week, just to be like realistic with <laughs> with what I can accomplish today, so. Okay, so we're gonna start with everything that needs to be soldered first, and then we're gonna do initial rings while those are in the pickle pot, and then we're gonna make the Rafe necklace in wax once all the other stuff is polished and finished. So these little cards, I made them a long time ago because I kept finding myself looking up the same like ring blank length for the same ring size over and over and over again. And it was just really slowing me down whenever I would have a lot of orders for, for rings. I'd have to go online, type in the dimensions of the metal and all of that stuff. So I just sat down one day and typed up every single ring size that I offer and for my most common rings that I make. So like, for example, the the length of this ring for a size seven is gonna be different than this one because this metal is thicker than this. So I made these. And so I've got for my initial rings and then for my dainty rings, I can just at a glance look at what length to cut it. For a size 10, 66, 98, 66, 98. Because this metal is so thin, I can just use my flush cutters to chop it. These are gonna be for the rainbow minis.
I just finished polishing all of the pieces. These are the little hammered um, rainbow earrings. But anyway, after you solder posts on, you have to work hard in them if the, you aren't gonna put them in a tumbler, which these I'm not putting in the tumbler today. So you just take some pliers and you grab onto the prongs and you twist. So if you forget this step, then whenever they go to put their earrings on, then the metal will bend and it could possibly break. So you wanna make sure that that metal is really nice and strong. So I just grab it, twist in back and forth motions until it's hard. I have to move cleanly? I don't, I don't know. Right? Yeah. Right? Because I make a disaster. I make a worse mess while I'm trying to pack and clean. Yeah. Okay, so I just finished polishing the uh, little rainbow earrings, the initial ring, and now we have to make the Rafe necklace. So this is what the Rafe necklace looks like. And I sold out of this necklace, which is really exciting. This was a tough one for me to decide when it came to like how much stock I was gonna make of everything, especially when there are multiple components of the jewelry wheel. Some stones I only have one of and I can never find another one like it, and others I can buy multiple of. But I knew that I wanted to keep some of my pieces really exclusive, so some of them, like the initial ring and like the dainty bands, I make multiple of those and I, I don't even know how many I've made. But things that like the Rafe necklace and some that are a little more special, a little more expensive, I only want to put out a certain number of those. So I'm no longer making this necklace. Now I'll make something similar to it or using different gemstones, but I won't be making that specific necklace anymore. So that method not only helps me with selling, but also it just makes people feel like what they're getting is even more unique because maybe there's only three or four or five out in the world. So yeah, this is the last Rafe necklace that we're gonna make and let's do it. We're gonna go get some brownies and some sushi for dinner. Before I go though, I do wanna say that so far, I think this is my eighth video. I think this is my eighth video, maybe my seventh, but YouTube is still new for me. I've only been doing it for about a month and a half, maybe less than a month and a half. And this has been such a good experience so far. Everyone has been so, so nice to me and helpful and I'm teaching myself everything. I've taught myself everything. So I know I have a lot of bad habits or that I'm using tools wrong. I've had so many people leave genuinely nice comments explaining to me how I should use something or giving me 
new ideas and I can just tell that it's all like from the heart. No one's being like a jerk or anything. Everyone's just really, really helpful. So I just wanted to say thank you. It really means a lot. This is such a weird thing to do, like put yourself out online in like a long form video. So the fact that everyone has been so nice and kind and taken the time to write long comments and messages and emails, I'm just very glad that I did this. I'm very glad that I started and thank you for all of your help and your advice and I'm glad that I can be helping anyone out there. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you and look at you and tell you thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed the studio vlog. I think it's probably a little bit shorter than normal. I kind of just made and I didn't talk as much this time, but I will see you next week. Bye guys.